Israeli spyware used to target journalists, activists, report. The reports say authoritarian governments abuse software sold by private Israeli firm to hack cell phones worldwide. Activists, politicians and journalists from around the world, including from Al Jazeera, were targeted in a surveillance operation using software sold by the Israeli surveillance company NSO Group, according to an investigation into a massive data leak by The Guardian, The Washington Post and 15 other media outlets. The reports released on Sunday said authoritarian governments abused the Pegasus software, hacking 37 smartphones, according to a report by The Washington Post. According to The Guardian, the leak contains a list of more than 50,000 numbers believed to have been of interest to clients of NSO since 2016. However, the mention of phone numbers in the leaked data does not necessarily mean that those devices were hacked, it said. The Washington Post reported numbers on the list also belonged to heads of state and prime ministers, members of Arab royal families, diplomats and politicians, as well as activists and business executives. The list also included journalists from media organizations around the world including agents France Pressa, The Wall Street Journal, CNN, The New York Times, Al Jazeera, France 24, Radio Free Europe, Mediapart, El País, The Associated Press, Le Monde, Bloomberg, The Economist, Reuters and Voice of America, The Guardian said. According to forensic analysis by Amnesty's security lab, Two women close to slain Saudi columnist Jamal Khashoggi were targeted with Pegasus spyware, according to the Washington Post newspaper. The phone of Khashoggi's fiancé, Hatice Jangis, was infected with the malware days after his murder in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October 2018, the paper, for whom Khashoggi wrote, reported. A Sophisticated Surveillance Pegasus, a sophisticated surveillance tool developed by the Israel company, infects the user's smartphone and steals all the phone's information, including every contact name and phone number, text message, email, Facebook message, everything from Skype, WhatsApp, Viber, WeChat and Telegram. The scale is staggering compared with anything we have seen before, Bill Marchak, a research fellow at Cyberspace Research Group Citizen Lab, told Al Jazeera. He noted that a previous expose had uncovered the hacking of about 1,400 numbers. The latest list did not identify the clients but the reports said many were clustered in 10 countries, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Hungary, India, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Morocco, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The surveillance industry works under a cloud of darkness, its products are designed to deceive and skirt culpability, Natalia Krapiva, tech legal counsel at Access Now, told Al Jazeera. How could something like this happen? Spyware companies simply cannot be trusted to hold themselves accountable. This story, along with the recent revelations of abuses by Celebrian and Kandiru, is another example of why we urgently need to hold these surveillance companies and the governments that use them up to the light. The industry has shown that it is incapable of policing itself and governments are hiding behind national security to excuse these surveillance abuses. We need regulation, transparency, and accountability and we need them now," she told Al Jazeera. Amnesty International and Forbidden Stories, a Paris-based media non-profit organization, initially had access to the leak, which they then shared with media organizations from around the world. What do we know about hashtag Pegasus so far? Human rights defenders targeted by a coordinated spyware operation through the work of at Amnesty and Citizens Lab. NSO, which previously pledged to police abuses of its software, firmly denied what it called false claims. NSO Group firmly denies false claims made in your report, it said in a release published by The Guardian. Many of which are uncorroborated theories that raise serious doubts about the reliability of your sources, as well as the basis of your story. According to the company, it has good reason to believe, the claims, are based on a misleading interpretation of leaked data from accessible and overt basic information. Citizen Lab reported in December that dozens of journalists at Qatar-based Al Jazeera media network had their mobile communications intercepted by sophisticated electronic surveillance. Amnesty International reported in June of last year that Moroccan authorities used Pegasus software to insert spyware onto the cell phone of Omar Radi, a journalist convicted over a social media post. Marchak said the problem went beyond a single firm. It's not just one bad apple, he said. It's a systemic problem with the whole industry.